What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Big Gucci Soldier Cat back here once again. How's wife has the kids? Great, perfect, amazing. Today, we're going to be checking out the most dangerous gangs in the world. Now, contrary to popular belief, I've actually never, ever been in a gang before. Now, I know this is very hard to believe for a lot of you guys because a lot of you guys look at me as this very intimidating kind of hulking figure. You know what I'm saying? Average person walking down the street would take a look at somebody like me and think that I'm a very dangerous man. And to be fair, I can be a very dangerous man when I need to be one. The amount of crimes I've committed in my lifetime is unfathomable. You have no idea how many unpaid parking tickets I have to my name. I've loitered in places you can't even imagine. And nobody even told me nothing. Nobody even told me no, they knew better. Growing up, I'm what they called a menace. All right, I was I was pretty bad. But the gang life was just never my thing. You know, I was always more of like a college kind of a guy. So all of this information is going to be fairly new to me and hopefully new to you if you're not part of any of these organizations. So this should be fun to learn about, uh, hopefully. With all that being said, uh, we're going to get into this. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, and uh, hopefully we don't see Chief Keith do anything uh, crazy in this video. <laughs> hopefully. Let's be honest. We love gangs. Well, maybe not love, Whoa. but we are certainly fascinated by them. There have been so okay, many books, better. movies, TV shows, and songs about gangs and gang life. And honestly, it's easy to see why. Gangs look very cool from the outside, but make no mistake, they are very, very dangerous and have been responsible for some pretty heinous crimes oh, over most the definitely. years. But which oh, are most the definitely. most dangerous gangs in the world? Keep watching to find out. The Albanian Mafia. When the Albanian mafia? Mafias, the Balkan country of Albania is probably not one of them. But you'd be surprised to hear that Albania has several mafias. Several Holy dangerous shit! Ones. There are 15 major crime families in Albania, and their influence stretches far and wide. In Germany alone, there are about 40 Albanian gangs operating, and governments God! are worried about how Damn! powerful they're becoming. There's also a growing presence of these Albanian gangs in the UK, Spain, France, and Greece. One thing oh. about the Albanian mafia, they sure know how to network. According to reports, the mafia has been tied to other mafias in Greece, Bulgaria, Turkey, Romania, and Italy, and they're not done. The mafia has wow. been extending its ties to other countries like Australia and China. That's a lot of mafia connections being exchanged. And what does the Albanian mafia do with all of its influence? In oh. a nutshell, trafficking. The Albanian mafia trafficking? has been known to traffic people, weapons, counterfeit goods, and pretty much anything that can be trafficked. But let's focus- Bro, what the f Aren't Albanians supposed to be good, nice people? What the f is this? I've never met an Albanian that was that I ever thought was a dangerous person. I actually met one in the Starbucks the other day, bro. It was cool. Damn, y'all Albanians get down like this? God, he just listed all the deadly sins. And they do all of them. Ahem, export. Now, the Albania Mafia used to help the Turkish Mafia smuggle their back in the 90s, but after more Albanians began moving to Western Europe, they decided to strike out and create their own operations. Oh now, boy. the Albanian Mafia is so powerful and brings in so much money to the country that Albania is the only country in Europe that's considered a narco-state. Basically, what? a country that relies heavily on the trade. Yikes. Albanian wow! Gangs are the dominant force in organized crime wow. across the UK. We've been told that Albanian crime groups are shipping hundreds of millions of pounds in criminal proceeds back to Albania every year. Now, as you can imagine, keeping nah, that ain't it, trafficking bro. operation that ain't it, guys. going steady might involve getting your hands dirty sometimes. Take the death of Troy Kellett, a shipping tycoon from Australia who what died do you do? under very odd circumstances. What do you Kellett do? is believed to have had ties to the Albanian mafia when of he course. was alive, and just a of few course. hours before his death, he had sold his business for $10 million. Then, Ooh. on July 9th, 20 23. He was riding on some. You know what I could do with $10 million? Dollars? But family members say that he'd been acting strange before he died, and considering the mafia connection and the money, something might be amiss. And this is no disrespect to any of you Albanians that are watching this, but stay the f away from me, man. Just stay as far away from me as possible. A narco state is crazy. If I was the leader of that country and somebody designated me with that title, we're gonna have to fight. That's bad. Isn't that bad? That's terrible. Surenos. The interesting Surenos. thing about the Serenos, Jeez. otherwise known as Southern United Radza oh or Sur 13, is that they operate both in and out of the prison system. Now, what we know as the Serenos today gang. was born out of a prison rivalry between Mexican-American gangs in the mid-20th century. In the California prison system, there were those from the south and north of California. And let me tell you, they all hated each other. The Southerners oh, okay, thought the that's Northerners not good. were too country, and the Northerners thought they were too American. Put a bunch of gang members who hate each other in prison, and someone is bound to die. Yes, yeah, so yeah several people are bound to choose two groups formed the Nortenos who are Mexican American gang members from Northern California oh, and boy. the Serenos from the south. From the surface level just looking at these gentlemen they do look dangerous. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. But remember what your mom always told you 
Don't judge a book by its cover. I'm sure if you shake any one of these young man's hands, they won't pull out a deadly sharp weapon on you, okay? But like somebody got to try it, you know? It's not going to be me though. Uh, it's really easy to believe that these guys look very dangerous, okay? And on surface level, they, they kind of do, right? But don't ever judge a book by its cover. To our Mexican-American gang members from Northern California and the Serenos from the South. Serenos are known for sporting the color blue and for tattooing the word on their body. When they're not Jeez. showing solidarity through dress, they're engaging in the usual gang activities like trafficking, extortion, and... Oh Take my Gustavo God, bro! A member of the gang who was arrested. God in damn, bro! Isn't that bad? Over and Guys, isn't that bad? Yeah, this just in: our first look at Ariaga's mugshot. According to the Stanislaus County Sheriff's Department, authorities have also found what the fuck did this nigga do? While the group is based primarily in Southern California, its members are spread in around 35 U.S. states. God its damn! Is in prison system, but it has That's ties more to than half. Operations back in Mexico. They're known to deal. In Where are the police? I mean, and yes, they still have beef with the Nortenos. And they in do all the drugs. Members of the Serenos were arrested for. Tenos members and San Francisco's Mission District is notorious for gang wars between the two. At Holy least they're sticking to tradition. Shit. In 2014, the U.S. Immigration Service launched Project Southbound. Okay, I get that they're bad and all. Bro, that's gotta be racist, bro. Project Southbound? So what are you gonna do, ship them back in a trailer? Uh, listen, majority of these guys that are in these gangs are born here, okay? They're born in your country. You gotta deal with them now. Okay? You can't ship them nowhere. It, that problem that you created, you gotta deal with it now, bro. Or 638 members of Surenos arrested. During these arrests, 54... 13.36 pounds of methamphetamine. Oh my god! 82.76 pounds of marijuana. 3.075 pounds of... Nigga, what do you need all of that shit for? And more than $166,000 were confiscated. What the fuck? What you need all them shits for? You, what? operations to this day. Nigga, who the is buying 84 pounds of weed not even snoop dogg take needs that much you know how much 84 pounds is bro that's the size of a very big dog ms 13 ms 13 i've heard of them i've heard of about them. the mara salvatrucha gang otherwise known as the ms 13 oh, is boy. the fact that it actually started for a wholesome cause the gang started in california in the 1980s after there was a rise in salvadorian immigrants to the area because of the civil war in their home country because uh -oh. many of them were poor and undocumented they were preyed on by other gangs that already existed in Initially, it was a group of young metalheads who banded together metal to protect heads? this vulnerable population. This all changed what, they listen after to Ernesto Slipknot? Deras, a former member of the Salvadoran Special Forces, became its leader in the 90s. Holy this is when shit. things turned violent. This nigga switched deadly. teams? He used military training to turn the gang into what it is today and led the recruitment of new members. The thing Holy is that these new members were the young, poor, undocumented Salvadorian boys arriving unaccompanied in the U.S. Yep, the M13 was now preying on the same people it was set up to protect. Uh -oh. and the the fact that it recruits young boys only makes its initiation process seem more cruel. Be 100% honest, bro. What y'all do it if you get stuck up by this chubby, fat ass Salvadorian kid with the gun, bro? What y'all do it, bro? Me personally, dude, I cannot bring myself to get robbed at ass Salvadorian kid, bro. I can't, bro. I got honor and I got pride. I can't, like, you're gonna have to kill me. You're gonna have to kill me, dude. Like, you know what I mean? According to the BBC, the boys have to endure a brutal 13-second beating and have Damn! to carry out a crime to join the gang. And once they do join, they can't leave. A 13 second straight of getting your ass beat? Can't you just like do something more ethical, like a like a job interview to see if he's fit for the position or something? Why you gotta beat his ass? ...up to this reputation. It is estimated that there are between 6,000 and 10,000 members in the United States and over 50,000 wow. back in Central America. The wow. gang has been involved in... Extortion oh, and yes, trafficking? Murder. In 2016, a member of the gang, Enrique Portillo, joined several others who attacked high school girls, Nisa Mickens, 15, and Kayla Cuevas, 16, oh. with machetes and baseball bats. Oh, no. Federal authorities and police in Long Island arrested four MS-13 gang members for the murders of three teenagers. Oh, the no. The gangbangers will be charged with the murders of two high school girls who were in Brentwood, Long Island oh, in September. No. Their bodies were found in the following days, and reports say that it was over a dispute at their high school. This case showed that's just how far up. the gang would go, and that even teenagers are not spared. Oh, man, that's crazy. That's evil, bro. That's evil, dude. Really? But nah, man, somebody find those guys and just... They don't, they don't even gotta be a judicial court system for crimes like that, bro. You just gotta just introduce those niggas to a bridge. Just find a nice sturdy bridge and just kick them off of it. That's all you need to do. You don't need no judge, jury. You just need the executioner. Amen. God.
Damn, that's evil. Crips and Bloods. There we go. My list of dangerous yes, gangs sir. My favorite. My are the wait, Crips what? And the Bloods. Now, if you're familiar with pop culture and hip hop history, you know who they are and probably know their red and blue colors and what they represent. But yeah. if you aren't, let me explain. The Bloods and the Crips are both Los Angeles based gangs that are involved in drug dealings, extortion, robbery. You know, the usual. What God makes them unique damn. Is that this nigga just said it all casually like it was like it was normal. Let's start with the Crips. They were formed in 1969 by Stanley Tookie Williams and Raymond Lee. Washington, who were already controlling gangs in East and West LA at barely 18. The idea was simple. Band together and corner the market for and other illegal activities. This yeah, it seems easy and enough. Gang saw its membership and pockets grow over the decades, especially during the crack epidemic in the 80s and 90s. Oh, I remember them days. And turmoil after Williams went to jail. Those were crazy ass Washington times, died. am I right, the guys? The gang remained strong to this day and had over 30,000 members as of 2015. The Crips have also boasted famous members like Snoop Dogg, Easy E, and Coolio. Why would you put these guys' gang affiliation out there like that, bro? Who just wakes up and goes like, oh yeah, you know what? By the way, these are notable crips out there that I know of. Does this nigga not fear life? That's the easiest way to get your ass beat or worse. But what about the Bloods? Crazy. Well, they were formed in the 1970s after the Crips attacked two high school students, Sylvester Scott and Benson Owens. In oh. 1972, the Crips also a man named Robert Ballou after oh. a concert because he wouldn't give up his Nigga, why do they keep those who felt people? victimized by the group what met like? up and decided to form a group in retaliation. Some famous Bloods members today include Lil Wayne, Gucci Mane, and YG. And while Why are you never mind. You know what? It's okay. If you die, it's not on me. Okay? It's fine. And while they were outnumbered by the Crips, the Bloods have more than made up for it with both wow. groups have been known to one another steal cars and operate to this day. In oh, 2022, no. for example, police arrested gangsters associated with both the Bloods and Crips for a shooting in Sacramento that saw 100 bullets shot. Wow! Dead. The two have been at it for years and show no signs of stopping. Bro, did I ever tell you guys the story of how I almost became a Crip one time? It was a wild ass story. It well, technically it wasn't my fault, but it, uh, well, I'll save that for another time. It's okay. The Yakuza. The, the Yakuza. Yakuza. The I've heard of them too. Of being one they're of the, the they're the Japanese and uh the most misunderstood gangs in the world. The group was first formed in the 17th oh century my God. and was mostly composed of Takia, who were considered lower ranked Japanese citizens. The Yakuza actually started lower ranked Japanese citizens. That sounds racist. To members of the caste. Even today, much of the Yakuza is made up of men from lower income backgrounds. The Yakuza are also known to value honor and loyalty above all else. There are strict hierarchies of power within the gang, and oh this boy. is shown through the sharing of sake called sake. Kazuki. They also have some pretty out there practices like full body tattoos for yeah. many of their members and cutting off the top of their fingers. Oh as a my to god! Apologize. While the group saw the peak of its membership in the 1960s with almost 200,000 members, only around 20,000 remain today. But that doesn't mean that they are any less deadly. Among the Yakuza's illegal activities are trafficking, extortion, of loan course. sharking, prostitution. And much more. They also have Why do all of these niggas do the exact same shit? Like, why don't you do different crimes? Like, it seems like all of these niggas do the exact same crimes. <laughs> Kidnappings. Who's gonna be the gang to do tax fraud? I'm still waiting on the gang that specializes in tax fraud, bro. I would join that gang. I would would you join that gang? Because I would join that gang. That's crazy, dude. They also have syndicates in the United States and ties with Korean and Chinese gangs. And let's just say that they smuggle a lot of In fact, a majority oh my of the God. guns confiscated in Japan were manufactured in the United States and the FBI has been investigating the gang's money laundering. Then there is the gang's connection to Much of the illegal that are imported of course. into Japan are believed to come from the Yakuza, which makes Can't sense forget given about the group's we not love them. so legitimate beginnings. I mean, what? One Yakuza boss said, speaking to a journalist, one sure way of making money is that's the one thing you can't get hold of without an underworld connection. They're also known to from all over the world, threaten local oh, business no. owners, and use many legal businesses as a front for their operations. Oh, and despite no. a few shows of goodwill, like helping out after the 2011 Tohoku earthquake, there have been some government efforts to crack down on the gang. And while it is nowhere as yeah, powerful as it was I hope so. the Yakuza remain the a very real and very deadly organization with ties to others all over the world. I just want you guys to understand, okay? There's levels to this shit. Not that I would know, okay? But there's levels to this shit, right? There's, there's crime... And then there's what we call organized crime, okay? So this is where, now we're getting into the realm of organized crime, okay? Now, what is organized crime, you ask, is exactly this. You would have never assumed that these guys are gangbangers. Look at these niggas, man. They're dressed up in the Versace suits and shit. 
This nigga got on Prada? Like, look at this guy. You would never think that these guys are anything but honest, hardworking businessmen. But deep down, behind closed doors, all right? They do some of the scummiest, most disgusting shit that this world has ever seen. Sinaloa Cartel. To Sinaloa. understand just Isn't how that the deep El Topo the Sinaloa game? Cartel's legacy is, consider is the El fact Topo's that it game? is basically descended from another powerful cartel from the 20th century and used to be headed by El Chapo. Yes, yes that sir, El Chapo. my boy. Was a young boy. He did yes, what other boys sir, did. Chapo. He his business. His yes. uncle just happened to be Pedro Why am I Arias yelling? Perez, and the business was. After his uncle was killed <laughs> in a shootout with police, the Guadalajara Cartel became the top dog of in Mexico. To avoid being brought down by the police in one fell swoop, oh, the wow. cartel devolved into smaller factions, including what we now know as the Sinaloa cartel. After yes, years sir. of warring with other cartels, the Sinaloa nah, but cartel Chapo's a bad guy, dude. That's He's like... Ruthless. It currently has over 100,000 members. Wow! It is even bigger than what Pablo Escobar's empire was at its peak. How the f*** do you get 100,000 people to dedicate their lives to doing some of the most disgusting and immoral crimes this world has ever seen? I can barely get 10 friends to go out bowling with me. This nigga somehow organized 100,000 people to do some of the most disgusting crimes imaginable. Bro gotta have some type of superpower because this is, this is ridiculous. Of a reputation for carrying out gruesome and graphic people by the cartel are often beheaded or dissolved in acid. Oh, What's worse, these uh, videos acid? Are shared online. If you've heard of those graphic cartel beheading videos floating on the web, they're probably the work of the Sinaloa cartel. Oh, law no. Enforcement has tried to oh, crack that's, down on the these cartel. are the guys that are doing them shits on Mexican Twitter? Mexican police arrested 750 cartel members and seized boats, cars, and $59 million in cash. But their wow. biggest win came in 2014 when they arrested its long-standing leader, El Chapo. But he escaped from prison twice before being caught. <laughs> yeah, he escaped twice. United States. At the peak of his power, That's an L, Chapo bro. He escaped twice. the biggest drug operation in the world. And when he was sentenced to life in prison, he was ordered to forfeit $12.6 billion. Oh, hell no. Oh, over cartel. my the dead body. Being run by over my Mayo dead Zumbo body. I'm not forfeiting cocaine, shit. Marijuana, methamphetamine, and opioids. And despite decades of law enforcement trying to stop the cartel, it's still going strong. Over my dead body. You're not taking my $12.6 billion, bro. You're not taking that shit. If I was Chapo and I got arrested, bro, and they're threatening to take all my money, $12.6 billion, bro, I would tell them over my dead body. Them niggas are acting like they was there on the corner selling this dope with me. Tell the government they can suck my 18th Street gang. Now, I've talked about the MS-13 gang and how deadly they are, but did you know that they have a rival gang? Yep, the MS-13 are the direct rivals of the 18th Street gang, also 18th known as the Street 18th Street Gang. Unlike the MS-13, which you is would think they would come up with a better Salvadorian fucking name. People, you named your shit after a number? And has close ties to the Mexican mafia. As you might have noticed from the entries on the list, being affiliated with a mafia is always a sign of nefarious activity. Oh, and boy. the 18th Street Gang has a lot of this. Its rivalry with MS-13 has been so deadly that a judge said these two gangs have turned the Central American Northern Triangle into the area with the highest homicide rate in the world. But yeah, that's not a flex. Street gang start? That's not a flex. Unless you're the gang leader. MS-13. It all dates back that's to bad. the 1960s in California. When it's always the, the 1960s, isn't it? Very powerful. The thing is that this gang didn't allow non-Mexicans to join. Feeling left out, a group of non-Mexican, immigrant, and mixed-race youth formed their own gang. The gang was comprised of several neighborhoods in California, like East Side 18th Street, North Side 18th Street, and West Side 18th. Street, but it's since okay, expanded sense. with tens of thousands. So that's why they're called 18th starters, Street. Okay. It has links outside of California, and when members were deported to Central hopefully America, all of their hoes are 18 uh, as well. That's where the rivalry with MS-13 started. Both wanted control of the Central American turf, and boy, has this feud been bloody. In the U.S., they are known to be one of the most violent gangs involved in carjacking. Shootings. Oh my more. god. In fact, every day in California, at least one person is robbed by an 18th Street gang. What member. the, the gang f has left a trail in both the U.S., including a football player Wilson Palacios' teenage brother and in Central America, where they routinely kill civilians and other gang members. What the f*** is wrong with- are These niggas are menaces! Statistically, every single day in California, one person is either robbed, kidnapped, by one of these guys. That is insane! They don't even do that in Chicago! Camorra. When you think of gangs, one of Camorra. the first things that comes to mind is the Italian mob. And not to worry, they're well represented on this list by the Camorra, one of the oldest gangs in the world. The Camorra oh has boy. been operating since the 17th century, but it was in the 19th century that things really got exciting. The gang was involved in blackmail, extortion, smuggling, and robberies. It also acted as a way to protect illegal gambling, as its name is a combination of the words capo meaning boss and mora meaning gambling. But they weren't entirely operating in the shadows. Many members of the Camorra were accepted into the police 
police force and some successful what? man for office. Now, what? what's interesting about the Kimura is that they're not really a unified gang. There are several different factions, and each has its own leader and activities. In the late 20th century, it was estimated that there were dozens of Kimura clans. This is mostly good Kimura for the clans? because it can't be easily taken down. <laughs> like clan leader Pasquale Galasso once said, Campania can get worse because you could cut into a Kimura group, but another 10 could emerge from it. But when you have so many factions with so many leaders, there's bound to be infighting. In 2005, oh boy. the Deloro and Sizionisti di Secondigliano clans had a bloody war. If you're going to make a gang, okay, at least give me the opportunity to at least have the ability to pronounce it. What the fuck is this, dog? You know how much calories you're burning just saying that shit, bro, over and over again? How do you say that, bro? This is like 15 syllables alone just to say. Who's the genius that came up with the Sizina Sonoti di Secondi di Gilano? Who the fuck is the idiot that did that? clans had a bloody war called the Scampia feud. It saw hundreds dead, and at one point, the Italian police sent over 1,000 officers into Naples to stop the killing. Oh my god. Work. The gang remains powerful to this day, and while many of the older members are dead and in jail, their younger and flashier children are taking their place. This means flexing stolen money and designer clothes on social media, as well as the clan rivalries and shit. Yeah, that's genius. That's a Russian genius mafia. thing to do when you're no a gang member. of the most dangerous gangs in Jeez. the world would be complete without a nod to the Russian mafia. They've dominated our screens for years, but just just how powerful are they in real life? A lot. Now, organized crime in Russia has existed since the 17th century, but things really took really? off in the 20th century after the fall of the Soviet Union. Agents became powerful mafia leaders, and Russian business people had to pay them for protection or end up in a pretty tricky spot. Yo, but that's corrupt as a well mother of Russia itself. In the United States alone, there are 30 known syndicates, and these do everything from to human extortion. There are hundreds, Dude. if not thousands, still operating in Russia to this day, but they aren't quite as structured as their US counterparts. But what's really fascinating about the Russian Mafia is how long they have endured. Countless mob bosses have been sent to jail or killed, but someone else always seems to take their place. Police in Russia say one of the main figures in the country's organized crime community has been gunned in Moscow. Listen, I don't mean to be rude. Why does this nigga look like a Disney Pixar super villain, dog? Like, I don't... <laughs> Like, <laughs> you cannot sit here and deny and pretend like this nigga is not funny looking, dude. Why is your neck hanging that low, bro? This nigga has no neck. Where is your neck? Aslan Usoyan controlled a criminal group. Oh, he died? And and oh, that's good then. We can, we can make fun of him then, guys, without any repercussion. A single shot. And to be clear, these mob bosses aren't just shady underworld figures. They're actually pretty well connected. Besides its ties to other gangs like the Kimura, top mafia figures like Semyon Mogilevich have been said to be pretty tight with the likes of Vladimir Putin. That Alexander is crazy. Torshin, who's a top Russian politician, has also been rumored to be a mafia boss. That and is just how crazy. Rich is the Russian mafia. Well, hey, I believe him. In 2018, hey, I believe mafia him. associates were accused of laundering. 62 million dollars of the gang's ill-gotten funds through none other than Rosgostrak, the largest insurance company in Russia. When a gang is as old as the Russian mafia and operates in over 50 countries, you're bound to have some loose change lying around. I don't want to hear you niggas talking about me doing tax fraud ever again. I don't want to hear you niggas talking about me doing fraud ever again, tax fraud ever again, okay? Listen, me doing tax fraud is bad, but you see what these niggas be doing? You see the shit that these niggas... Bro, listen, if you're gonna complain at me, all right, there's a hierarchy level to this shit. Go, go complain at them first. And watch how fast the Kalishnikov gets shoved down your throat. Los Zetas. Los Zetas Los dates Zetas. back to the 1990s in Mexico and is sort of an offshoot of another gang, the Gulf Cartel. After Osiel the Gulf Cartel. I think I've heard of them. Of the Gulf Cartel. I think I've heard of the Gulf Cartel. Ex members of the Mexican and not any good things about them. being targeted by the army and rival gangs. Thus, Los Zetas was formed and helped the cartel with kidnapping, extortion. Oh my God, bro. All the deadly sins, Los all Zetas the normal Pokemon deadly became sins. became its own gang and even rivaled the Gulf Cartel. Keep in mind, Los Zetas was one of the newer gangs on the scene, and it had to make a name for itself. Rather than teaming up with other gangs, it decided to outdo them in violence and terror. When oh, Los no. Zetas decided to kill someone, it was brutal. The victims were tortured, beheaded, cooked in ovens, and had their bodies cooked strung in up on ovens? the ovens? This meant that many of the families of victims could not claim their bodies. As one victim's mother said to the Irish Times, I have no doubt that those bones are from human beings. Maybe they're from my son or the children of my comrades. Take a grown man, strip him down to the point he's naked, and then shove him in an oven like you would do your chicken nuggets, and then crank it up to 350 and watch him melt. That is sick. Never find them because Los 
Zetas was so brutal in its methods, other gangs decided to up their antics and become even more brutal. The result? Over 60,000 people have gone missing in So Mexico then it becomes like a like wars, a dick measuring contest but with people's up. lives? Many of the like that's ridiculous. Of Los Zetas have been arrested or killed. The gang's activities It's like, continued. "Oh, you killed this guy more brutally than me? Watch what I do this guy. I'm gonna shove him in an oven." Like what? Throughout the 2010s, there have been several massacres by Los Zetas and the death toll is in the hundreds. That's Hell's crazy. Angels. We That's all ridiculous. Love the oh, Hell's Angels. Gang, but what about Here we go, Hell's guys. Angels, the OG Harley Davidson riding biker gang. Well, for starters, they're considered a criminal enterprise by the United States Department of Justice and Europol. But why? Bro, Hell's aren't angels they racist? First came to be in 1948 after several smaller biker gangs. Don't they like not together. like blacks and minorities and shit? Hell's Angels has over 6,000 members in 59 countries around the world, though they were forced to close down in the Netherlands, a bar that the Hell's Angels frequented had They were forced down to close down in the Netherlands. Niggas making it seem like they're a the legitimate business the angels is a danger to the public this is a gang this is far from the only what do you mean forced to close down themselves in back in 1969 rock legend mick jagger dragged the angels after one of their members stabbed someone to following the ultimate oh. speedway free festival oh. the stabbing was ruled as self-defense oh. there was a plot to kill jagger for a while hell's angels have also been linked to some <laughs> unsavory activities like extortion and organized crime. Along okay. with the other big three biker gangs, the Pagans, the Outlaws, and the Bandidos, Hell's Angels are looked at with suspicion by law enforcement. Bro, listen, you don't even gotta take my word on this. You just look at these niggas, bro. You know that they're racist, dude. You don't grow a beard like that unless you there's some kind of ethnic minority that you despise. Don't let this Santa Claus ass beard fool you too, okay? This guy's not loving either. He hates minorities more than you could even imagine. Angels are looked at with suspicion by law enforcement, but at the same time, the angels insist that they're just a wholesome group of guys who like to ride bikes. That's at cap. Least if they're white. While the angels don't explicitly ban non white people from joining, they rarely have any members of color. Founding member Sonny Barger has said in an interview if you're a motorcycle rider and you're white, you want to join the Hell's Angels. If you're black, you want to join the dragons. That's how the it dragons? is. The dragons? Anyone likes it or not. We don't have no black. Blacks, and they don't have no whites. What? The Aryan Brotherhood. Where do what? we even begin with the Aryan Brotherhood? First, they are literally neo Nazis. So wow! Right on top of this, they wow. are Wow! So you know their MO is violent. They're even so more hint, racist! They are These niggas are the Super US Saiyan racist! But commit a huge percentage of its murders. The Aryan Brotherhood was founded in 1964 after oh. prisons in the United States were integrated. The gang organized and attacked black inmates and oh. initially had members of the Manson family in their midst but kicked them out because Sharon Tate. Oh, At least no. they have some limits. To join the Aryan Brotherhood, you have to be a white prisoner, obviously, but that's not all. The Brotherhood has a blood in, blood out system. To get in, what? you have to injure or kill a member of law enforcement or a person of color. To get out, you don't. Even I have to die because you want to join a gang that is racist. You have to kill me in order to join that gang? That is that is insane, dude. How many members do they have? Dude, that's you know how much niggas died? You know how much niggas died? Dude, that is dis that's crazy. At least from prison, they have to do their leader's bidding from the outside. The Brotherhood is involved in sm in and out of prisons and much more. Of Members course. on the outside commit these crimes and of give a course. portion of profits to those on the inside. Oh, the no. Aryan Brotherhood has over 20,000 members in the 20, prison system. 20,000 members? Serving life in prison without parole. This has made it a bit tricky to punish them. Some prosecutors have tried to get the death penalty for these leaders, but the group remains active. Bro, get death. rid it's of them! Of others on the list like Hell's Angels and even John Gotti at one point. Aryan Brotherhood members have staged prison riots guards attacked and killed many people of color and are usually recognized with their um distinct tattoos oh my god bro please they bring no benefit to society other than my destruction just get rid of them why don't we just drown them commando vermelho Commando Vermelo, or the Red Command as it's sometimes called, is a very violent organized crime syndicate operating in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Oh, it was boy. first formed in the 1970s. After Brazil's dictatorship, government began housing leftist guerrillas and petty criminals in the same jails. The two groups banded together to protect themselves and shared ideas. Oh, as the boy. dictatorship was coming to an end, prisoners were released and immediately joined the growing cocaine trade. They trafficked drugs huh? for the Colombian cartels and soon cornered the market in Rio de Janeiro. Amazingly, they partnered with the favela community that they operated in and offered social services to residents as long as they could carry on with their activities. But the profit That's swelled. Cool. Was infighting, nice, breakaway I get groups, not really. drug wars, and the whole lot. Now, the Commando Vermelho are estimated to have around 20,000 members, though many are oh in prison. My the group God. operates through the slums of Rio de Janeiro and gets a steady supply of recruits from the impoverished young men with few options. Some of the gang's activities include 
It the has usual a loose power like. structure. And while some bosses in prisons collect funds from those on the outside, many members are able to operate as they like. But this doesn't mean that all is well in the world of drugs and crime. The commando Vermelho has been at war with many other gangs for the best trafficking routes, and these wars get very bloody. Then there are the constant clashes with Brazilian police who have been trying to crush the cartels for decades to no avail. Well, they haven't the done a good job. Army base, and they haven't done a good job a at all. Helicopter at one point, all in its never-ending reign of terror. CJNG. CJNG is also known as the Jalisco New Generation Cartel or Los Matas Zetas and is basically an offshoot Isn't of another this... gang on this list, the Sinaloa Cartel. Oh, it all started okay, yeah, with that the makes death sense. Of Ignacio Coronel Villarreal, who was the leader of the Sinaloa Cartel. After he died, one of the gangs that was loyal to them, the Milenio Cartel, broke off and eventually devolved Damn, into all of these niggas are like cartels, dude. Isn't that scary? Region. One of these factions is what we now know as CJNG. It's headed by El Mencho, who is one of the most wanted drug dealers in the world. This nigga looks like a penguin dude you're telling me this is the most wanted drug dealer in the world if i just seen this nigga just walking on the side of the street i'd probably shove him in a locker or some shit just for fun this guy does not look menacing in, in the slightest bro group first began its activities in 2009 when the bodies of three men were found in a truck with a message saying oh, we are no. the new group mata zetas oh, zeta no. killers and we are against kidnapping and extortion and we will fight oh, that's them good. in all states for a cleaner mexico oh but that's good excited the cjng immediately that's good. started its violent activities going to war with the other gangs in Mexico and leaving several massacres in its wake as of 2020 yeah that's not they good have a reported 20,000 members oh. and have earned the title of the second most deadly gang in Mexico oh, second okay. only to the Sinaloa cartel and what have they done to earn this reputation well it moves billions of dollars in its every year what? and maintains its grip on the areas it operates in through violence it has hundreds of people and in some cases even engaged in cannibal Many of their horrific acts have been filmed and uploaded online, and the group is known to have an ongoing hitman program. While there are rumors of El Mencho being in poor health and infighting within the group, the drugs, killing, and other crimes don't seem to be stopping anytime soon. You had me at cannibalism, dude. Like, you didn't even have to do all of that. As soon as you said cannibalism, bro, it was like, that was it. Black Disciples. The Black uh -oh. Disciples is a Chicago-based gang made up mostly of yes sir chief keith came together in the 19 where's chief keith at didn't i tell y'all chief keith we'd see his ass their own gang devil's disciples then they merged with another gang called the gangster disciples but after their founder larry hoover was sent to jail the devil's disciples leader david barksdale took over but after oh he died the group once again was split into two factions the black gangsters disciples and the black disciples the two groups spent years at war with each other with head honchos and regular members being assassinated on the streets of oh, chicago no. Oh. And while the fighting eventually stopped, the drugs and criminal activity did not. Perhaps the gang's most infamous incident was in 1994, when it recruited a young boy called Robert Yummy Sandifer. By the way, Yummy, Yummy was just 11 years old when the gang recruited him and gave him a pistol, ordering what? him to go out and kill. Naturally, what? being a literal child, he missed when he was shooting and ended up a 14-year-old girl nearby. The oh, gang was immediately no. the subject of media scrutiny. Its oh, leadership no. found itself in a bind and decided to fix the problem by killing the 11-year-old boy that oh, they had armed my in the first God. place. Two members, Derek and Craig Hardaway, were tasked with luring little Yummy to a secluded area and shooting him in the head. No! Naturally, this backfired and they were convicted of the murder. To this day, the gang has thousands of members, including the likes of rappers Lil Dirk and Chief Keefe. And Didn't I tell you Chief Keefe was in this area. bitch? It mostly Didn't I tell you guys? Leadership system. Them, though its current head is a man called King Shorty and has as many as 300 sets still active. Those men are members of the Gangster Disciples responsible for 12 and a dozen other shootings that weren't fatal. Wow. There are countless gangs in the world, but the ones on this list are perhaps the worst. They've committed endless crimes, ended many lives, and have created a legacy as some of the worst groups imaginable. Some are famous around the world, while others aren't quite as well known, but all are beyond dangerous. You see, this is why it's very important to go to college instead, guys. Instead of joining these organizations, there's nothing good that comes from it, okay? There's nothing good that comes from it at all. I'm glad that I went down the, the, the straight path. I'm just surprised a lot of these uh, organizations made it this far. For these officers will literally store my house for not paying the fucking parking meter, but somehow these niggas can just run around committing the most disgusting crimes imaginable. It's, it's sick, okay? It's sickening. Those were the most dangerous gangs to ever exist in the world, okay? You guys let me know which one on, on here was the worst. Personally, I think... It's got to be uh, one of the Mexican ones. Those niggas don't play. Um, like, they the cannibalism? Putting people in ovens and cooking people? That's insane. That's crazy. That's crazy. Nobody does that shit but them. That's wild. That's crazy. Hey, listen, man. You got it.
Hey, you got it. That's crazy. That's insane. But uh, anyways, yeah, you guys let me know which one uh, of these are like the worst you guys think are. Okay, you guys just let me know down in the comments. Uh, make sure you guys like the video, man. Okay, I see some of you guys not liking the video, and that's not good. You guys got to like the video. Um, subscribe to the channel if you guys have not subscribed to the channel. We're on the road to 30,000 subscribers. We're close, guys. We're almost there. Okay, so let's 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 power through and let's get there. Okay, almost at 30,000 subscribers. Make sure you guys sub to the channel if you have not done so. Comment down below other videos you guys you guys would want me to react to in the future. Okay, you guys already know the deal. New merch is available in the description. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the description. Make sure you go get yourself something nice because you deserve it. Okay, they're gonna sell out fast. You guys know how this is. Okay, there's a limited supply, and once they're gone, they're gone. Okay, they're never coming back. With all that being said, I'm gonna see you guys in the next. Video. See just how I'm coming, yeah, I did this on my own Don't you tell me something, cause I did it all alone You ain't helping nothing, no, na na You ain't helping nothing, no, na na Came up from the guys and niggas show me some respect Niggas mad cause I ain't break them off on all these checks You ain't helping nothing, no, na na You ain't helping nothing, no, na na